we're here for cardio and core today. I'm getting in the mood for Memorial Day weekend. In case you couldn't guess why I'm dressed like Captain America. Feel free to comment that I look just like Chris Evans if you'd like to. That would be fun. Um, today our signature move is going to be Starburst. So we'll play with that a little bit and do a couple of combos. But first we're going to warm up. Let's march in place on the right, right, right. Four, three, we'll step in lunge side to side for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We'll do repeater knees for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and switch for four, three, two, and switch for four, three, two, and switch for two, and switch for two. Let's alternate. Four, three, hamstring curls. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Double up those curls. Double curl. Double it up. Let's go back to single curls. Four, three, two, and double for two, and one. Now single, single, double, single, single, and double. One more time. Single, single, double, tap it wide. And shoulder roll, four, three, elbow roll, four, three. Let's roll our arms, four, three. Reach overhead, four, three. Punch forward, four, three. Now punch across your chest and twist, four, three. Punch it up, four, three. Punch it down, four, three. Punch across for two, punch it up for two. Punch it down for two, punch across. Now swing those arms, four. Pivot right, off your toe, dig your heels, swing your arms. Two, shift your weight back to your left foot, back is flat, press down your chest, let's tap that right foot. Four, three, tap it side to side, four, three, plant that foot, take a big step back to your left foot, push your heel to the floor, lunging forward, fingers, legs, palms turn up, we slide our shoulder blades apart, we rock forward. Stretch your calf, open your hip for four, three, Heel raise with that back heel, lift and lower, reach and pull, up and down, keep it going, for four, three, two, hip flexor stretch, we'll bend that back knee in, we'll curl that tailbone under, tilt your pelvis, scoop your abs and flex your arms, four, three, Two, hold that knee in for quad stretch. Give me a side raise here. Four, three, two, hold it down. That left arm, tricep stretch over your, your shoulder. Push and pull back your elbow. elbow. Let's shake it out. Let's face in front. Let's march it left, left. Step touch. Tap it out. Shoulder roll. Elbow roll. Roll your arms. Reach over your head. Punching forward. Punch across and twist. Punch it up. Punch it down. Punch across. Swing those arms. Four. Three. This time pivot to your left. Tap your toe. Kick your heel. Swing your arms. For two. Shift your weight back to your right foot. Back is flat, press down your chest and tap that left foot. Four, three, side to side. Four, three, plant that foot. Take a big step back with your right foot, push your heel to the floor. Lunging forward, roll those shoulders, lace those fingers behind your back, press down, lift up. Press out your chest and bend. Rock it forward for four, three, two, Give me a heel raise with that back heel. Lift. 
lower, reach, pull, up and down, keep it going, four, three, next, hip flexor stretch will bend the back knee in, curl the tailbone under, tilt the pelvis with the abs and flex the biceps, four, three, two, hold that knee in for quad stretch, on the chest line, Squeeze your shoulder blades in back. Touch your elbows in front. Lower and lift. Keep this going. For four. Three. Two. Let's hold it down. Add right arm triceps to that reach over your shoulder. Push or pull back your elbow. Lift your rib cage, stack your spine. Shake it out. Grab yourself a quick drink. Marching on the right. Let's do a little combo that kind of combines drills and makes a combo out of it. So starting on that right, starting simple in four, three, step, touch, step, touch, step, and touch. Let's go for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's double up. Take it over for two. And back for two. Double step touch. Keep it going. For four. Three. Two. Single step touch. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Double step touch for four, three, two, single step touch, four, three, two, double, two, and one. Now single, single, double, single, single, and double, single, single, and double, single, single, double. This is the rhythm. Here comes the change. My singles become tap it out. My double becomes chasse. My single single is tap out. My double is chasse. Tap it out. Chasse. Tap it out. Chasse. Two more times. Tap it. Chasse. One more time. Tap it out. Chasse. March in place on the right. We'll use that later. Right. Let's step and dig our heels. Step and dig, step and dig. Four, three, let's step and lift our knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's step and kick. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Get that doctor side leg lift for eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hamstring curls, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, lunges back, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, step and dig your heels for four, three, two, lift your knees, four, three, two, let's kick, four, four, three, two, get that down your four, three, Two hamstring curls. Four, three, two lunges back. Four, three, two step and dig your heels for two. Lift your knees for two. Abductors two curls for two. Lunges back. Get ready for tap it out. Tap it out. Chasse. March it out on the left. Step and dig your heels. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Step and lift your knees. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hip abductor, side leg lift. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hamstring curls. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Lunges back. Eight, seven, six, 
seven, six, five, four, three, step and dig your heels, four, three, lift your knees, four, three, kick it, four, three, hip abductors, four, three, hamstrings, four, three, lunge it back, four, three, break it down, keep your heels for two, knees for two, kicks for two, abduct for two, we curl for two, lunge it back for two, we tap it out, we chasse, we step and dig our heels for two, we lift our knees for two, we kick for two, abduct for two, we curl for two, we lunge it back, get ready, tap it out, chasse, step and dig your heel, two, lift your knees for two, kick it for two, abduct it for two, hamstring curls for two, lunge it back, get ready, tap it out, two, and one, chasse, step and dig your heel, knees, kicks, abduct, hamstring curls, lunge it back, tap it out, chasse, step and dig your heel, knees, kicks, abduct, curls, lunge it back, tap it out, two, chasse, march it out on the right, all right, that's a combo, that's a nice drill because it takes us through all those moves. Marching right. Next combo. Easy peasy. Lots of familiar stuff. Just gonna throw in a starburst at the end. Well, I'm gonna throw in two starbursts at the end. But for starters, you march in place on the right, right, right. Step one. March three and tap it once. Right, two, three, tap. Left, two, three, tap. Two, three, tap. Step two, march forward and back. Right, two, three, and tap. And tap. Up, two, three, and tap. March, two, three, and tap. Back, two, three, and tap. Next step. March it up with a kick. Back with a lunge. One, two, three, kick. Back, two, three, lunge. Up, two, three, kick. Next change. We'll march it up and we'll kick, lunge, kick, kick, lunge, kick. Come back, lunge, kick, lunge. Kick, kick, kick. Up with a kick and a lunge and a kick. Back with a lunge, kick, lunge. Keep it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time. Bring it back. March in place on the right. Single step touch. Double it up. Over. We're going to change this double. We changed it before to chasse. This time we're changing it to break line. So we'll step behind and step together. Step behind together. Step behind together. Four. Three. Two, here's the next change. Step behind and curl. Step behind, step and curl. So change that last tap together to a curl. Got it? <coughs> step behind, step and curl. Next time, three curls alternating, make it three curls. One, two, there we go. Great line curl, two and one. We got great fun with three curls. Three more times. Two more times. Last time. I messed up. That's okay. Say so here we're marching left, left, and left. March three and tap if you want. Yeah, left two and three. Now we'll do the same thing we do on the other side. All that's changed is our lead. Now our left foot leads it. So everything's the same on the opposite foot. So next step, forward and back. 
Up, It's just a different lead, different foot leads it. Next time. Kick, lunge, kick, kick and lunge. Kick again, go back. Lunge, kick, lunge. Up, you need kick, kick, lunge, kick, lunge, back, lunge, kick, lunge. Two more sets. Up, and kick, lunge, and kick, back, lunge, kick, lunge. One more time. Up, kick. Lunge, kick, back, lunge, kick, lunge. March in place on the left. Yeah. So, next up, I'm going to build a starburst with some options here. Because you can do your starburst with high intensity, with high impact, I should say, or not. We're going to do a couple things. We're going to go back to hip abductor, side leg lift in 5, 6, 7, 8. Hip abductor, hip abductor like before. Now, march it out. We're going to do one hip abductor, two marches, one hip abductor, and two marches. We're going to change our lead. If you don't trust me, just follow. So hip abductor is two counts. So it's like this. Abduct and march and march. Abduct and march and march. Abduct and march and march. Abduct and march and march, abduct, and march and march, abduct, and march and march. March it out on the left. So when I say it's two counts on the abductor, it's a step and a lift. So your abductor is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's work on that a little bit. This is your low intensity version. It goes like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Try the arm to make a starboard. Five, six. One, two, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little hop if you want it. But open up like a star. March in place on the left, left. So that's easy. That's our last piece. So coming out of that last couple of marches, we'll march up and back. We'll grapevine, we'll starburst. Let's do it again. We're going to break it down. Do everything twice and break it down. March it up, kick, lunge, kick. And back with lunge, kick, lunge. One more time, same thing, we're breaking down. Up, kick, lunge, kick. Back, lunge, kick, lunge. Break line and curl for three. Over, curl in three, two, one. Back, curl in three. Here comes your starburst. Boom. Boom, that's your first set, here's your second set. Get ready, march it up. Kick, lunge, kick. Bring it back with lunge, kick, lunge. Great line and curl for three. Here comes your starburst. Boom. March it up, right foot leaves it. Up, knee, kick, lunge, kick, back, lunge, kick, lunge. Great line and curl for three. Starburst here. March it up, left foot leaves. Up, kick, lunge, kick, back, lunge, kick, lunge. Great vine and curl for three. Start burst it. March, march. March it up. Kick, lunge, kick. And back. Lunge, kick, lunge. Great vine, curl for three. Start burst now. Boom. March, march, boom. March and march it up. Kick, lunge, kick. Get two marches in place before you march up. Lunge, kick, lunge. Great vine curl for three. Starburst. March, march, starburst. 
March, march, and march it out. Kick, lunge, kick. Last time through. Back, lunge, kick, lunge. Great vine curl for three. Starburst. March, march, starburst. March, march, and march it up. Kick, lunge, kick. And back. Lunge, kick, lunge. Great vine curl for three. Starburst. March, march, starburst. March in place on the right. That's our starburst combo. It's our theme. It's on my shirt. So good. We've done two combos. Let's do, let's do a few little drills to finish up today. Quick drink. Keep yourself hydrated as always. Marching on that right. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's mambo right. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. We'll cha cha cha. We'll mambo left. That cha 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 is three steps and two counts. Three, two, one. Mambo. One, two, three. Cha cha cha. Three, two. One, one, two, three, three, two, one, one, two, three, three, two. Let's move on the cha cha next time. Three, two, move on your cha cha. 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 March it out right. Face in front, get center. Four, three. March it out wide. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We'll march together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. We'll march it out wide. For four, get low. Three, two, together. Four, three, two, and wide. Two, together. Two, and wide. Two, together. March it out and in. Get low. Out, out, in, in. Wide, wide. Let's make it a V step. That's forward and back. Right, left, right, left. Out, out, in, in. V step. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Diamond step is next. Here it comes. We're coming forward twice and back twice. It's out, out, in, in. Just picture a diamond on the floor. Go up and in and back and in. Out, out, in, in. Wide, wide, close, close. Four and back. Diamond step for three and back. Two more and back one more time. Go back to regular old V step. V. V. X step is next. That's forward and back. Like an X. Back. It's still out, out, in, in, wide, wide, close, close. Right foot X step. Four. And back. Three. And back, two, and back, and one. Let's march in place on the right, right. Let's tap and march and left. So this we just change leads. So the left foot leads it. We're gonna repeat that whole little bit we just did with the left foot lead. In four, in three, march it out wide. Eight, low, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, we're back together for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, march it out wide, four, no, three, two, together, four, three, two, and wide for two, together for two, wide for two, together for two, we take it out and in, out, out, in, in, wide, wide, get down. Let's make it a V step now. Forward. So it's left right this time. Left right. I'm mirroring you. But you 
watch your screen. Up and back, wide and close, out and in. Feet step, four, you know what's next. Three, they're a girl's best friend. A diamond step, up and up and back and back and wide and close and out and in. Left foot leads your diamond step. Let's keep it going. Like this. Four. Diamond. Back. Three. And back. Two. And back. And one. Left foot V step. Up and back. Wide regular old V. Left, right, left, right. You know what's next? It's our Hugh Jackman step. Our X step. Like X Men, get it? Focus. X. Up and back. X step. Up and up. Back and back. It's still wide, wide, close, close, out, out, in, in. Four. And back. Three. Back. Two more. X step. Boom. One more time. Now march in place on the left, left. Just pull it down. Let's just tap it out wide. And swing our arms. Tap it. Swing it. Take some nice deep breaths. <sighs> we'll just cool this down. Take it easy. Let your heart rate come down a little bit. All right, and as we feel like our heart rate's coming down, let's bring our right foot forward and our left foot back into a nice long lunge. You bring your hands to your thighs for support and sink your hips. Keep your chest lifted so you're opening up your quads and hip flexors here. Should be in your left leg. Sink and breathe and stretch. <sighs> Big exhales. Push ourselves back onto the left foot and flex the right foot. If you have a chair, you're going to put your foot up on a chair, that's fine too. I'm just going to leave it on the floor for now. And I'm going to lengthen my spine and fold down. Press your chest toward the thigh. Now I encourage you not to put your hand on the leg you're stretching. We don't want to lock out that knee. So put your hand on the other leg for support. Inhale, exhale, press lower. You want to feel this in the back of your thigh here in your hamstrings. Breathe and sink. Let's rise back up. Let's bring that right foot across your left foot. We'll push your left hip out. We'll sway to the right. Inhale and exhale. Nice side body stretch. Put in your hip here. Breathe. Inhale. Expand those ribs. Exhale. Even go deeper. We'll rise back up. Let's step out to the left foot this time. Bring the right foot back coming to that low lunge, sinking hips down, keeping chest lifted. Hands on thigh is fine. Inhale and exhale and sink. Now we're stretching out that right thigh and hip flexor. Inhale and exhale deeper into it. A couple more breaths. Now we'll shift back, we'll ground them to the right foot, we'll flex the left foot, bring it forward. Inhale, lengthen to your spine, exhale, hinging forward. Again, support yourself on the standing leg, not the leg you're trying to stretch. Don't lock it out, please. Pressing down, feeling hamstring stretch in the back of the thigh right there. Inhale and exhale, sinking deeper. Rising up. Bring that left foot across your right foot. Push your right hip out. Sway left. Again, use your breath to expand your ribs. Exhale to sink deeper. Breathe and sink and stretch. Rise back up. Just bring the right foot forward. The left foot back. Just ground that heel for now for calf stretch. And then just lunge forward here with a straight back leg, heel down, feeling stretch in your gastrocnemius. 
inhale and exhale. Now you want your toes pointing forward and your hips square, not open. Square hips. No toes forward, hips forward. Now we'll shorten our stance, soften the knee, and lean forward from the. You want to pinch at that ankle back there. This shifts the emphasis in the deeper muscle of your calf, your soleus. We'll shake that out. Now we'll step that left foot forward, right foot back. Feet parallel, toes forward, hips are square. Inhale, exhale, lunge on that front leg. Ground that back, heel down. Get that nice deep calf stretch in your gastrocnemius. Breathe and sink. Shorten your stance. Lean forward, hinging at your ankle joint. Inhale and exhale. I'm going to shake that out. Let's move down to the floor for some core work. Do a little something to start that will help build strength in the lower back as well as the front. All right. Coming down to hands and knees. Let's extend your right leg back and your left arm forward. We're going to switch it and switch it. Now, I want the core braced. I want the shoulders down. I want the shoulder blades sliding down your back. I want you drawing your abs in. Try to really stabilize your core. The arm and leg create resistance. I'm going to change this. Take it out, crunch, out, and down. 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 For eight, crunch, out. Seven, scoop it, out. Six, crunch, out. Five, extend, crunch. Four, scoop it, extend it. Three, scoop it, extend it. Two, scoop it, extend it. Last one coming up. Scoop it, and down. Let's bring our big toes together, open our knees wide, sink back. Press that back a little bit here. Let's slide forward. Let's stack our hands, squeeze our legs together. You can rest your forehead on your hands. We're going to raise our legs off the floor just enough to engage our glutes and lower back. Not too much. Just lift and lower. Up and down. Lift and lower. Up and down. Keep it going for four, three. Next, leave your legs down, lift your hands and head for eight. Just enough to engage the muscles. Up, down, lift and lower. Four. Three, two, lift the legs only, only the legs. Four, three, two, legs down, lift hand and head. Four, three, two, head down, just leg. Two, legs down, just head. Two, alternate. So it's legs. Hands and head, lift legs, hands and head. Relax, take a breath. So the trick there is not to try to lift too high. We don't want to hyperextend the spine. We don't want to compress the vertebrae in the back, or the, the discs in the back, I should say. So just being careful with that. Push back to child's pose one more time. We'll sink our hips. Breathe. Try to lengthen your spine out here. Let's slide forward and roll over. 
feel like doing double leg stretch today. This is a Pilates exercise. I want you to start on your back. I want you to start by engaging your core. So there shouldn't be any real movement here in your core for double leg stretch, which is bracing. It's isometric as far as your core is concerned because that's how your core muscles typically work. They're isometric. We don't go around crunching all the time. We just stand and brace ourselves. That's how those muscles usually work. So, double leg stretch. Draw the knees in. Now, I want you to imagine you're wearing you know, one of those like banjo hats, those round hats with the straw hat with the brim, the brim on it. And what you're going to do is float your head, press that hat up, bring your legs out. Now, higher is easier, lower is harder, you decide. Then we'll sweep our arms, we call these angel arms, back in. So we extend it out, we sweep it in. You decide how high those legs go, whatever works for you. Focus on your spinal alignment and sweep it in. Eight. And sweep it. And seven. Pull it in. Extend it. Sweep it. Lift that half. Bring it in. Four more. Keep those abs tight and flat. Three. Two. And one. This time hug the knees. Hang on to your knees. Relax your head and neck. Roll your legs in a circle three times one direction. Reverse and go three times the other direction. Let's do some knee rolls while we're here. We've got tabletop knees. We can make this more challenging by straightening our legs. So you get to decide how challenging you want it to be. Relax your head down, ground your shoulder blades, brace your arms. We're going to roll the knees or legs left and right in five, six, seven, eight to the left. Center, shoulders stay down, to the right, turning through your midsection, left, and lift, and right, keep it going, for eight, and lift, seven, and up, six, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, five, inhale, exhale, back up, four, lift, three more, and up, for two, center, and one, let's plant our feet, let's bring our feet a little wider than our hips, so that our knees are falling inward, and we can windshield wiper our legs from side to side, and just let them rise and fall, gravity will make them fall to the middle, to the side, all right, let's do supine side bend. So here on our backs with our feet planted, I'm going to stand so I can show you what it looks like, but you're not going to get up. You just watch. So you're on your back with your knees bent, your arms out to the side. We're flexing the spine to one side and then the other. <clears throat> We're not crunching or crossing over. We're not flapping our arms. You're flexing from the spine and reaching the hand toward the ankle. Now your head might get heavy, so you can use your free hand to support the weight of your head as you reach to one side. We'll break it down. We'll do eight here, eight here, four and four, two, two, one, one, then we'll alternate. A lot of core engagement for this one. So you're going to be on your back as you are. Arms out, palms up. Now just curl your shoulders off the mat. Now reach for your right ankle. Eight. Scoop those abs. Flex it. Flex that spine. For four. Three. Two. Left hand to left ankle. For eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Now back to the right side, just for four. Shoulders off the floor. Keep the head up. Flex it left. Four. Three. Two. We're almost there. 
Step to the right for two and left for two. Home stretch. Alternate right and left for four, three, two, and one. Now relax back down. That's center. Take a deep inhale. When you exhale, tilt your pelvis, push your lower back into the floor. Inhale to release. Exhale, squeeze, tilt, and press. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze, tilt, and press. Inhale to release. Let's finish up with bunches of crunches. Today we'll do eight at the center, eight twisting to one side with an optional leg lift. This is optional. Eight to the other side, optional leg lift. And then eight reverse crunch, curling the spine, lifting the hips. We'll break it down fours, twos, and ones. Start by crunching up the middle. Feel free to support your head. Here we go. Eight, seven, curl that spine, scoop those abs. Peel it up and roll it down. Four, three, two. Now twist one shoulder toward the opposite knee for eight, seven, six. The leg is optional. Five, four, three, two. Now just switch sides for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, get ready, reverse crunch, lift your hips off the floor, eight, seven, six, five, work those abs for four, three, two, Back to crunches up the middle. Four, three, two. Twist one shoulder over for four, three, two. Switch sides. Four, three. Next, reverse crunch. Lift your hips. Four, three, two. Crunches up the middle for two. Twist to one side for two. Twist to the other side for two. Reverse crunch, lift your hips for two. Break it down. One crunch center. Twist to the side. Switch sides. Reverse crunch up the center. Twist to the side. Switch sides. Reverse crunch. Hug your knees into your chest. Rock it out. That's a pretty good core workout. Let's extend our legs out. Sweep our arms overhead for full body stretch, reaching out. Now think about lifting your rib cage as you inhale. So you get a stretch in your abdominals. And relax as you exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, relax. Inhale, reach out for your fingers and toes. Exhale, relax it. Let's roll over. Do my, one of my favorite core stretches, which is our Sphinx Pose. I want you to relax your hips down to the floor. I want you to relax your abs and relax your lower back. No effort in your midsection, please. Elbows are under your shoulders. You can have parallel arms where you can interlace your fingers. Now, letting those hips sink down, Lift the chest up and press the chest forward. You're pushing down into your elbows using your upper body, not your core. You are not lifting from your back. This is not a back bend. This is just a gentle stretch. So make no effort in your back. If you moved your elbows, you just drop right down because there's no work in your back at all here. Just feel that stretch in your front body and your abdominals. And breathe. And relax. Let's come up to our hands and knees. With hands under, wrists under shoulders, you can also make fists for wrists if you like. Knees under hips, we're going to slide the shoulder blades down, draw the abs in. Lengthen the neck and make lots of space between our ears and shoulders. Inhaling, we lift the chest and tailbone, looking forward of the mat. 
Exhale and you scoop the abs, curl the spine, look in at your knees. Inhale, lift to look forward. Exhale, scoop it in. Now continue at your own pace using your inhales to lift and look forward. Your exhales to scoop and look in. This is cat cow. It's a nice way to mobilize the spine to release both the front and back body. Next time you finish the cycle of these, we'll come back to neutral spine. Bring our toes together one last time. Sink back to child's pose one last time. Really try to feel that lengthening of your spine, that tractioning of your back. A couple of breaths here. Let's begin to walk our hands in slowly so we can sit up, taking our time so we don't get dizzy. And we're curling our toes under, rolling back on the balls of our feet. Inhaling and exhaling to straighten our legs, coming to forward fold. Inhaling and exhaling to rise up. Come to a saddle stance, a little wide with hip width. Let's take three deep breaths to finish off today. Inhale, lift. Exhale, pull those shoulder blades down. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. Inhale, lift. Exhale, press. All right. If you're watching this anything close to real time or in the next couple days, have a great Memorial Day weekend. See you later.